Hey guys, Noah here. Welcome back to my channel. But if you are new here, then welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be running a few errands. I'm actually going to be going to Lowe's um, for some plant stakes and plant trellises because I do have a few vining plants that I would really like to give some support to. And I've been there to Lowe's many times and I never see any, but I did check online and it said that my Lowe's has it in stock. So I'm hoping that that's accurate and I'm gonna go check that out. Um, and then after that, I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's. I have this like weird theory that dairy is kind of causing me to break out a lot. So I'm going to try to find some non-dairy options. I really want non-dairy yogurt because I love yogurt in the morning and I want to find non-dairy yogurt and then a few other like frozens that are kind of easy because I'm too busy to be like cooking all day. So I definitely want to find some easy options and I feel like Trader Joe's will be a really good place. The only thing is where I'm at in Houston, I'm not really close to a Trader Joe's so it's kind of a mission to go there so I don't go often. So I'm probably gonna get a bunch of stuff and I will share with you guys everything I get when I get back home um, but yeah wish me luck I'm gonna head there right now and hopefully I find some plants too I'm hoping that this Trader Joe's has plants so we'll see how it goes I'll see you guys in a little bit all right I just left Trader Joe's and I found uh, quite a few vegan options so I think tomorrow I'm gonna do like all vegan foods and see how it goes so I'll show you guys what I got today and then when I'm editing the video I will let you guys know if it was good or not um, but I've gotten this before it's just an acerola cherry juice shot um, this has a, a thousand and ten percent daily value of vitamin C um, and I've been feeling a little bit under the weather so I just wanted to have this uh, my boyfriend's sick too so I'll probably save him half of it but it actually tastes really good really good kind of reminds me of wheatgrass a little bit which I know some people don't like but I like the taste of it so I was actually just thinking I have like a gift cert card for press juicery and ever since leaving LA I have not been to one out here in Houston so I kind of want to see if for some reason I happen to be near one because I'm a little bit far from home and then if I am I'll stop by and use my gift card I'm still pretty far from oh yeah I'm super far from one so yeah I won't be doing that um, but I will have to do that another day because I definitely want to use it and get my money's worth all right so i'm just gonna head home i actually found some amazing plants at lowe's so i'm really excited to share with you guys what i found because i never find good stuff there like i never do and there was only one of each that i found like one so whoever comes in after me is not gonna find good stuff basically like they must like sell out as soon as they put it on the shelves is the only thing i can think of so and I'm excited to share with you guys that. So I'll see you guys as soon as I get back home. Hey guys, so I just got back and I'm gonna share with you guys everything I got. My kitchen's a mess, so like, please ignore it. I'm sorry. And I just realized like, what am I gonna title this video? And it's literally plant shopping at Lowe's and grocery shopping for vegan food at Trader Joe's. Like that makes no sense. They're like, they should have been two separate videos, but this is gonna be kind of all over the place, so I'm sorry. But I'm gonna start with the low stuff because I'm so excited with my finds. Look, this is the first thing I found. It's a Rapidophora tetrasperma and it's got a bunch of the leaves that, that do have the holes and stuff. And it's pretty, pretty full, I believe. And it's from the Urban Jungle Collection. It was only $10.98, so I think this was a steal. I'm going to be propagating this one and adding it to my plant shop, so keep an eye out for that. Um, if you don't know already, I have a plant shop on Etsy called The Plant Casa, so I'll leave a link down below so you guys can check it out. Right here behind me, I set it down there. I found a moonshine snake plant, and I've been on the hunt for this plant for so long. Like, I really, really wanted it. And I'm definitely keeping this one for myself, although it does look like there's three separate plants in there. Um, I'm going to keep all of these. I'm not going to sell any of them. I've just always wanted this plant. Also, $10.98 from the Urban Jungle Collection. They come in these cute terracotta pots. I feel like the pot itself is worth $10. So the fact that you get a rare plant as well is like so cool. Another one thing I got is a Hawaiian Punch Elephant Ear. And... This looks like the Regal Shield because it's like darker on the front and the back, but the Regal Shield is only dark on the back, I believe. I'm not even sure. And I saw this one and I had never seen this plant before. It was only $9.98. It just looks cool. It says part sun, three to six hours of morning sun. So I'm pretty sure I have a good spot for this one. And I just love elephant ears. They're fairly easy in my opinion. So I had to pick that up. 
Along with that, I saw that they sell bulbs at Lowe's, which I had no idea. And if you follow Melissa with one S here on YouTube, she actually recently repotted one of her elephant ears and found bulbs in it and was gonna plant them. And so I saw today that they sell bulbs, which I had no idea. There's four in here. It was only $7.98, so I'm basically gonna have like four large elephant ears, which is insane. I don't need that, I already have some. But I just thought it was so cool. These bulbs are huge and I believe you just pot it up in water. It should be fairly simple, but I think she is gonna do a tutorial on it, so I'm definitely gonna be checking that out. And then on the same thing, they sell caladium bulbs, which I actually have my bulbs from last season's caladium, so I'm gonna plant those as well as these. It says there's how many in here? Six in here. So I really want this white caladium. Um, I already have this one, so I'm hoping that I don't get just a bunch of pink ones. I'm hoping I do get some white ones. So we'll see what this one gives me, but I'm excited for that. So I'll probably do a whole video on planting these, so keep an eye out for that. That's everything I got at Lowe's. I couldn't find any plant steaks, so I'll probably be ordering some on Amazon. Um, and then I will share with you guys what I got at Trader Joe's. Oh, there's a bottle of wine in here. I'm like, what is that noise? So I know this is like a weird angle, but um, I did get some milk chocolate, not vegan at all, but those are so good. I actually got these for my son. They're apple and carrot, like little fruit things. These are really good. I don't know if these are even um, vegan. Let's see. I don't see any, oh, milk. There is milk in here, so it's not vegan, but my fiance loves these, so I got it for him. They're cherry pomegranate toaster pastries. This is my favorite wine from Trader Joe's, so I did pick up two. It's the Greenfin Red Table Wine, very cheap and affordable. Like I said, I picked up two. And then this is not vegan either. I got halva, halva which is an Israeli dessert, like candy type thing. I just really like that. All right, on to the actual vegan stuff. Let's see here. I got this vegetable stir fry and I picked up some tofu to go along with it. So I'm pretty sure this is gonna be either my lunch or dinner tomorrow. And then I got this. I've never seen it there before. It's a ta vegan taco salad kit. It comes with chipotle seitan. I don't even know what that is. Pico de gallo, purple tortilla chips, and a spicy jalapeno ranch style dressing. The cashier there told me she loved this. So I'm really excited to try that. And she said this is like her favorite thing in the whole world. Vegan tzatziki dip. Um, I'm pretty sure this is Israeli, but I don't even know how we say that. It's with cucumbers, lemon juice, dill, and garlic. I love anything with dill. Like, I don't know why that flavor is so good to me. So I'm probably gonna snack on this with some carrots. Then I got this uh, kale and gnocchi. It's another kind of option for dinner um, if I'm not feeling like the stir fry. I got this I'm gonna have for lunch today. It's veggie wrapped with hummus. Um, just a bunch of vegetables and hummus, so it can't really be bad. This looked really good. It was a tostones, which is like fried plantains. Um, I'm excited. I'm probably just going to throw that in the air fryer and hopefully it's really good. I got these, which I've had before. They're cauliflower pancakes, so just a good option to get some sort of veggies in your breakfast. I got these vegetable burritos. It says it comes with black beans, corn, and tomatoes, which all really good, dairy-free, vegan. Sounds good, there's two in here, which is kind of cool. So here's that tofu I got. And then I wanted a vegan yogurt, and I've had this one before, it's really good. It's made from coconut milk, but it's just like blueberry yogurt that I throw granola in, and that's like a really good snack. I also got vegetable spring rolls with kale, edamame, mushrooms, and shredded tofu. Thought that would be really yummy. Oh, I should have gotten soy sauce. Fully forgot to get soy sauce. That sucks. And then I just got this vitamin D shot with zinc because we've been feeling a little bit sick, like I said. So just wanted to get some more, you know, healthy options. This stuff is not vegan. They put all the vegan stuff in one bag. Oh, I did get this to add to the salad because I really like these. They're marinated artichokes. And then, oh, I got this. This is garden vegetable soup. Just looked really, really good. I got this for my son. He likes these little soft, juicy mandarins, like dried fruit. Oh, I love this maple syrup. I haven't had it in a while, so I restocked on that. 
Oh, and then my son likes these too. They're the chocolate and date bars, coconut and date bars. I always tell my son, do you want candy? And he gets excited and thinks it's candy, but it's actually pretty healthy. And then I got two things that I shouldn't have gotten, but it looked so good. I got this blood orange cake mix with icing. <gasps> I need to have this ASAP. Oh, looks so good. And then I got, I got cinnamon crumb coffee cake mix, which also sounds absolutely amazing. My friend Chico makes the best coffee cakes. I'm hoping that this competes with that. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's gonna be the end of this video. I know it's kind of been all over the place, very, very random, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget that I do post new videos every single Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday now, so three times a week. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!